Thousands of the Spitfire aircraft were made in Wiltshire during the Second World War, but in complete secrecy, with many young women drafted in to manufacture them. The story has been told in a film made in Salisbury called Secret Spitfires, and now there are plans to build a memorial to the work. Andy Howard reports from Salisbury. Believe it or not, this factory plays a huge part in history, not just here in Salisbury, but some say it altered the entire course of the Second World War, because this is where they made secret Spitfires. These women didn't even tell their husbands where they were going. Without them, we perhaps wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today. Ordinary people, hairdresser one day, and second day, building Spitfires. To decimate if they could, the German air force of bombers, which if you ever saw Coventry burning or Birmingham burning as I did, uh, you would realize it had to be stopped. Today was very much the start of a campaign to raise 100,000 pounds. That'll pay for a life-size Spitfire Memorial to remember the planes, the people who made them, and just how they did it. This is probably the most important day of my life proudest moment of my life. I never thought it would go this far. Over five years of doing this film and researching it, it has now been basically become a duty. A memorial was discussed, we thought, right, let's, what, what better than a life-size Spitfire? Fiberglass on steel frame. Sounds good, in the right place. Not only will it be a physical memorial, but it will carry something behind it. Um, I would like to see apprenticeships. Those here to support included one of the last surviving Spitfire engineers and the British Armed Forces most senior female officer with an all-important poem. A glorious life is the pilot's one. They enjoy it too when all's said and done. They swoop through the sky both far and near, yet the real heroes, the engineer. We used to say, you didn't get into a Spitfire, you put it on because it was, everything was to hand. Absolutely spot on. Thank the world for engineers. Which is what they hope a memorial will finally do. Thank the substitute engineers for an extraordinary job in the Second World War. Andy Howard, BBC Points West in Salisbury. Very nice.